Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do Teen Spirit. Um, I've done almost every one of these in a video. Um, some I just don't like, uh, but I really, really, really like that Teen Spirit from NYX. And I know they changed a lot of their colors, but hopefully they didn't change that one. So what I did was I, um, I used my Cryolin. This is the Interference Palette. Um, aqua Color, I used the gold. And I used this gorgeous pinkish blue purple color. It's called Strauss Wine. Because um, I think these are, I'm not sure if they're German or something. But um, anyway. So the first color I'm going to use is the gold in that trio. And I'm going to lay that on the inner half. And then I'm gonna take that pretty, pretty pinkish purple color, just so you get it. I'm gonna, I use the gold, now I'm going to use this pretty pinkish purple color. Okay. If you blend them together, you're going to get a, like an orangey color. I don't really want that, so. Okay. Then I'm going to take that pretty blue. that in the crease or I should say the contour area trying really hard not to get it into the yellow I always have a problem with that getting it the, the crease color onto my inner lid Drives me crazy. Okay. And then using the Ultra Chic palette or trio. See those are all highlight colors right there. I'm gonna use this middle, the middle one, because it's a white gold color. That's like a a silvery, a gold, and a white for a highlight. I'm going to use the white gold. Just get that in there. And I'm going to add um, blue liner and mascara, a finish on makeup, and I'll be right back. Hey everyone! So. This is the finished look. I was just going to put a regular navy blue liner, but I thought radium uh, looked better. It matched better with the blue. So I have the radium liquid liner on top and the radium pencil on the bottom with El Dorado in the you know inner corners and then Yayo as the waterline. Um, I also thought the best color to use with uh, this eyeshadow was my is my Mary Kay uh, lilac blush, which is this one right here. Um, rather than using pinky, I just thought that matched better because it was a purpley pink. Um, then I was looking for my African Queen. Um, I believe I had a mega gloss African Queen or a round lipstick, and uh, my 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 um my tackle box that I used to put my makeup in. My husband made little slots for me so that it could be um, better organized. It looks like with the heat <laughs> here, all the glue melted. So it was in disarray, the box. I All I could find was my, uh, this is my orchid. And this is the round gloss. This is, uh, no, Queen of Africa. It is the one I, I was looking for. Um, but just 
It's the round lip gloss that it, you, they don't. I don't think they sell these online. I think you have to find this through a distributor. Um, and uh, and it has like a citrusy taste to it. I'm not really crazy about that citrusy taste. So um, that's what I use. And I had to put a lot of coats on to get it to look like this. But um, it, I felt it matched perfectly with the um, eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, then I put some gold shimmer, you know, as my hot facial highlighting and, and that's it. <laughs> um, next week I will, I will start with full colors using browns. Um, so most likely I will do the, hmm, I think I'll do the aqua and brown. This was, I believe, uh, let's see, I can see the year. Uh, no, but this was like, I would say about four years ago. It was called the um, Starry Eye Slicks from Wet n Wild. This is when they started getting a bit more fancier with their stuff. And it's a, a eyeshadow and a highlighter. The highlighter is this cream glitter here. Horrible stuff. I wouldn't. <clears throat> it will crease. But um, I might try it. I guess you're supposed to either put it as the highlight or I'll put it on the shadow to give it a little bit of shimmer. But putting it, it, it just might be overwhelming. But I'm going to do that that next week. I'm going to do aqua and brown. Um, <clears throat> so I will see you next week with that.